application service provider, software as a service, grid computing, utility computing, platform as a service. All these terms and more at one time or another have been referred to as cloud computing. What is cloud computing? What isn't cloud computing? Welcome to Cloud Computing in Plain English, where we try to make cloud a little less <clears throat> cloudy. So what is cloud computing really, and what can it do for you? Cloud computing is the convergence of three major trends. Virtualization, where applications are separated from infrastructure. Utility computing, where server capacity is accessed across a grid as a variably priced shared service. Software as a service, where applications are available on demand on a subscription basis. But hold on, we're getting ahead of ourselves. To understand cloud, we need to go way back to the beginning of time. In the beginning, Al Gore gave us the internet. Then broadband got very cheap, and some smart folks realized that not everyone had to build in-house data centers. In fact, they realized that the computer running the application could be pretty far away from the person using it, and only a fast connection was needed between them. This led to software as a service. Essentially, big, fast machines in someone else's data center running an application that we access using our familiar web browser. Someone else owns the application, and we pay a fixed subscription fee. Hallelujah, right? Well, yes and no. On the plus side, we don't have to worry about the machines running the application because they don't belong to us. They're the other guy's problem. And we don't have to devote time and resources to developing and maintaining an application that we're not expert in. Both good things. But at the same time, the one-size-fits-all approach didn't work for large enterprises with complex requirements. Some companies didn't like the idea of data outside of their firewall, and the subscription model didn't align cost to usage. What enterprises wanted was the convenience and simplicity of SaaS, with the flexibility of traditional computing, a hybrid that allowed any software to be easily run as a service in a data center that someone else owns and manages. But applications were so darn difficult to deploy in a new environment. And then came virtualization, and it was good. With virtualization, applications and infrastructure are independent, allowing servers to be easily shared by many applications, and applications to run virtually anywhere. That is, as long as the application is virtualized. Virtualizing the application involves packaging the application bits with everything it needs to run, including databases, middleware, and operating system. This self-contained unit of virtualized application can run pretty much anywhere. If it can run anywhere, it doesn't have to run in your data center or in the application provider's data center. It can run in the cloud. The cloud is a computing service that charges you based only on the amount of computing resources you use. This pay-as-you-go feature is the hallmark of today's cloud computing and one of the things that sets it apart from software as a service. So, why adopt cloud computing? Basically, you can't afford not to. Think of it this way. Traditional licensed software was like buying a premium sedan. For a fixed price, you got all the bells and whistles and support, the extended warranty, whether you used it or not. Oh, and you paid cash, up front. With software as a service, it's like leasing a car. You get a nice vehicle, but you can't make any significant changes to it because it doesn't really belong to you. You pay the same amount monthly and you're guaranteed a certain level of service on the car. With cloud, it's like having a metered cab at your disposal whenever you want it. You only pay by the distance you travel. You don't pay for maintenance, tolls, or any costs associated with the cab. You pay based on where you want to go that day. And it's so economical that you can vary the length of your trips and not have to worry about the cost. You can even trick out the cab the way you want it because you don't share it with anyone else. Okay, maybe that just stretched the metaphor a little too far. Before you hit the road, you might want to take a look under the hood to see what makes your ride go. The engine that powers cloud computing is virtualization. You can't move without your engine, and you can't deploy apps to the cloud without virtualization. So the first stop in any cloud initiative is to adapt applications to run as virtualized images. In a turbulent economy, cloud computing is even more attractive. Why pay for more computing capacity than you need when you can pay only for what you use? Go for the high fuel efficiency of cloud computing, and you'll never own your own car again. So, that's it. Cloud computing in plain English. We've covered a lot of miles in just a few minutes. We hope it helped make cloud a little less cloudy and helped you understand what all the cloud hype is about.